Well, how do that, chums? I'm just going to get straight into this. So Sean Murray at the Game Awards dropped a trailer for No Man's Sky, and it is teeny tiny. There's not too much to be had here, people inside the viewerverse, but we'll go over it a couple of times. But anyway, let's hit play on this one. Chikabow! That's all we got. That's all we got, people. But there's a lot to dissect in there. Let's go back over that, shall we, people inside the viewerverse? Heck yes. Okay, chums, now I've slowed this right down. Let's hit play and let's talk over it. I'll turn the sound right down as well so you can hear me a bit better. But here we go. Okay, so we're getting a new ship type by the looks of things. That looks like something out of Wipeout, doesn't it? Now this is the interior of a station. You don't find that until they fly on out. But you can see there, there's lots of different kiosks. There's one there for ships. There's one there for exosuits right at the front there. And it looks like the station core has changed. It almost looks like a walker's head or something like that. I'll zoom back in in a second. But as they come out of here, as the camera swaps around, you see some of those sort of like echo sort of weird capsule things, the life rafts that the echoes were in. So it looks like there's something coming into our verse and there was a giant pirate dreadnought just sitting right outside the entranceway there. Let's just jump that back again. Let's just have another look-see and let's give it a bit of a pause while we're inside the station. I'll point out the things that I'm spotting here, people. So let's just hit pause there. There is a ship logo right there. So that's probably where we're going to be upgrading our ships now, people. I don't see anything new with the landing pads and I didn't manage to get to count the landing pads. So I don't know whether this has actually grown out all that much. Over here, we've got a, we've got like two flags crossed over each other over here. I think that might be for Exocraft Technician, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's something new going on over there, people. And there's also the ship outfitter there, you know, where you can scrap your ships and things like that. I have no idea what all these things are. There's another shop over here, which looks like it might be for the exosuits, which is pretty darn swish and pretty nice. The funny thing with this is all the vendors are facing with their backs to us, you know. So what's the front of their kiosks going to look like? Hmm. I don't know whether these are modular. I don't know whether we're going to get any sort of control over the layout of the actual stations or anything like that this looks very very wipeout doesn't it anyway let's hit play let's move this on just a little bit more and let's see if we can spot anything else because as it pans up a bit i, I like that ship animation but look this is the new station core that i was on about up here people it doesn't look anything like the previous station core I mean, the previous station core almost looked like those life rafts, like they've been jettisoned from stations. And I wondered if that's why stations were abandoned. But hopefully now the station override is going to do something to these things. And who's to say that stations aren't going to differ one to the other? You've got this staircase going up here, and I love this glass banister that's running around the edges here. Now, this is really freaking swish. This is so much better than the old stations. But look, there's another stairway going up there, and a higher mezzanine over this side. So it doesn't look like they're as symmetrical as they were before, because I'm not seeing any sort of staircase going up on the opposite side. But it's very difficult to tell whether that's a functional stairway or whether it's just set dressing. I've been looking at the other ships. I can't see any differences there. It doesn't look like any ships are getting an overhaul. I mean, look, we've still got a blinking shuttle there. It looks like a toilet roll holder. But anyway, let's hit play. Let's see if we can spot anything else on the way out. But this is everything that I've spotted with my eye peepers thus far. Oh, let's, um, let's just go back. I mean, it was going a little bit quick there, wasn't it? Okay. Righto. And it's a shame I can't do frame by frame in this, you know? I was trying to see whether there's any sort of other shops on this opposite side over here. Because if you know, there's already a split. Most of the vendors are on one side, and on the opposite side, there's something else. But it's, it's hard to say if there's anything else that I haven't seen, you know? And then it goes motion blurry. So you can't really see everything else that's going on here. But there is clearly a mezzanine that side. And what looks like a double mezzanine. There is a double mezzanine. Look, there's one that goes there. Then a second one going up there. It does look like it's functional. It looks like there's a whole other floor hidden over there, people. Holy fudge. Awesome. What I didn't see, though, 
Is any of the NPCs actually walking around? They seem to be very static and stationary inside of here. Hopefully we get to see NPCs walking around on these other sort of plateaus. But yeah, the other ships in here are very much akin to what we're used to seeing. I don't see any sort of overhaul of the ships, but this thing looks freaking ace. I guess it does. Now, as he's flying out of here... Aha! Here we go. Now we can count the landing pads. One, two, three. I think there's one there. Four, maybe... Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe there's eight. Hmm. Okay. Is that a teleporter terminus down there? I think that might be the teleporter terminus down at the centre there. Interesting. All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's prep for play. Oh no, there's there's only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven landing pads. I wonder if there's an entrance at the opposite side. No, there's not. On the back of these new stations, there's engines. So there's only seven landing pads. Okay. All right. Fine. I was half expecting a few more than that. But there we are. That's it, playing. And I like these sort of like little side nodules as you're flying out. Okay, this one's got a little space on it. I don't know. Actually, no, it's just blocks. It's just blocks, Steve. It's just blocks. Yeah. Cool, yeah, but there we are, people. It's looking freaking lovely, isn't it? It really is looking freaking swish and dapper. Now let's do another pause as we swing around here, because look, the life rafts have had a little bit of a um, makeover. I'm sure they didn't have this giant cable wrapped around them before. It does look like they've had a little bit of a visual enhancement. Now these new stations, we've seen these. They accidentally left them in the game files not so long ago, and they do look like they're made up of different parts of the colossal archives. So hopefully they're going to do something with the colossal archives on planets, maybe tie these better into the actual stations, maybe give them a bit more rhyme and reason. The takeaway from this, though, is it actually says 2024. I honestly don't think we're going to see this come into game until 2024, because it was in big freaking letters across the screen at the start, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so I, I, I honestly don't think we're going to be seeing it anytime soon. Here you go, let, let's just, here we are. Um, 2024 our journey continues okay so I don't think we're going to see anything come in at tail end of this year if we do see anything come in tail end of this year I think it's going to be mainly um, just maybe the Expedition Redux and perhaps Expedition 12 if we're seriously lucky but I think 2024 is going to be a pretty exciting one if, if what's happening in the background is anything to go by and when Sean Murray was talking at uh, the Game Awards, he very quickly moved from this to their new title. Yes, I said new title. I do a whole video on the new title. I break it down like I have with this, but in slow-mo and all that sort of shenanigans. But I will show you what he said over at um, the Game Awards, although it's, it's, it's only a very quick bit of footage, people. Okay, so let me just get that queued up for you. Okay, people, well, I've got it queued on up. Let's jump on over onto this screen. Let's go hit play and see what Sean Murray has to say about No Man's Sky. Right, here we go. Just have one more look at that. Why the fudge not? It does look freaking ace, doesn't it? That looks straight out of white power. It really does. There he is. Mr. Murray, check out his t-shirt. That right there was up. No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now. And I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh. Uh, right, so that's all he had to say about No Man's Sky. And then he moves on to about them working on something new. And that something new is pretty darn special. I'm going to do a video on that something new. I don't want to spoil it in this video. But yeah, when it comes to No Man's Sky content, I think we've had pretty much everything there that we're going to be having. So yeah, make of that what you will, people. But uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel that for the year that we've had, it hasn't been a bad year, to be honest. 
It would have been nice to have at least learned if we was going to get another expedition from this, you know. It would have been nice to have known what was happening in December through to January and maybe even Feb. Because I honestly don't think we're going to see another large update until, say, mid-February. I really hope I'm wrong. I really hope I get a shock and get a surprise and we get some sort of Christmas special which delivers in those new stations and maybe that new ship type. I'm trying to think... What could that new ship type be related to? Is it an auto phase ship? Will there be any customization in it? Can we actually build it like we build African stars? There's so many questions. There's more questions than answers inside of this little mini trailer that we got from Sean of the Murrays. But I wouldn't expect anything different, to be honest. He's a cryptic freaking genius, isn't he? Pretty much, people. But it's got us something to talk about, at least, over the festive break. Even if we just get given the reduxes of the expeditions that we've had this year i feel that with these two trailers that sean murray has dropped it's going to keep us talking until like mid-february anyway you know so for content creators i think we can all go out on this one and reanalyze and re-go over bits and bobs but i think i've spotted everything i need to spot in what's behind me but if i haven't spotted something and you have let me know in the comments below heck yes people anyway i'm gonna go and fill up my tea and get ready to make my actual video on their new IP. Their game is called Light No Fire. They've got a full trailer on their own channel, people. Go and hit it up if you can't wait. But yeah, I will be doing my synopsis and my deep dive. Zane has already done one, and you should have seen Jason Plays' reaction to this live. I was there. I stayed up till like, what, four in the freaking morning watching this. I'm shattered today, people. Freaking shattered. But yes... We will press on. We are here but to entertain. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the viewer verse.